We're told now that the wind sensor at the Wilmington Airport that measured that highest gust of 105 miles an hour, the highest since 1958, broke today because the wind was so bad. Uh, on that note, we're going to check in with Megan Glaros of our Chicago station WBBM. She's been here with us the whole time. She's in our mobile weather lab. Megan, uh, to talk about what's happening. Yeah, we're getting some of the heavier bands that are still wrapping around the outer portions of Tropical Storm Florence. So it may not be a hurricane anymore, but look outside. We're driving through a roadway that's essentially flooded, the Cape Fear River right to our immediate right, and we anticipate more rainfall coming down from this system. It's going to be a continuous rain for many folks, probably through Saturday and for many until Sunday. Let's take a peek at the latest on the radar right now. Wilmington right here. So you can start to see some of those heavier bands that we're seeing. But imagine what it feels like a little bit farther north, closer towards New Bern and up into Moorhead City. They're getting more intense bands wrapping around the outer portion of that storm. And also that is where storm surge is a greater concern at this point. We're looking still at the potential for eight plus feet of storm surge in these areas, even though this is now down to a tropical storm. Look at New Bern. Look at Moorhead City along some of the outer portions of uh, North Carolina. And what we're going to be looking at is this storm works slowly down to the south and west is still torrential rain. It's coming down fiercely. And look at tomorrow. We're still talking about some intense thunderstorms. And as the storm shifts south, those intense thunderstorms shift south and west with it. And so now Wilmington will be getting what New Bern is getting right now. And that's how slowly the system is moving at and essentially at a crawl. You could probably walk faster. We've got a three mile per hour forward speed on this thing at this point. And because of that, we're expecting to find some torrential rains on top of what we've already had. Could see 10 inches more in spots, Jeff. All right, Megan, thanks very much.